Kevin Durant should he play in that game? Mm, no. And, 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 you know, I think we we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that when we were talking about the uh, Super Showdown. Sometimes you got to um, – you got to protect yourself. And sometimes somebody else got to protect you from yourself because I'm pretty sure, like, I've been seeing it a lot, like, people not knowing whether, like, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out in the off season or probably a couple of years down the road where either KD going to come out and say, yo, he want to play in that game or they told him he was all right. Yeah, oh, it already didn't came out. No, it did? Yeah. Well, it I was already sleep. came out. Um... What happened is that the doctors, the doctors told KD that he could play and he it was no risk of further injury. This is what the doctors also told Steve Kerr. Now, that ain't why KD played, though. KD wanted to play early on, and they was holding him out. KD wanted to play because the people in the media – and Draymond Green them was questioning whether or not he could really play or not, or whether he would hurt or not. Because what the media started to do is that other dude, what a name, Looney, mm-hmm. they started talking about how tough Looney was because he was out there with a broken collarbone yeah, playing, I... and they started to say that, what to insinuate that KD could play, he was just holding out because of he, he wanted a new contract. You remember um, Miami Heat, right? When yeah. we had played, the Heat had played um, the Rafters, and Whiteside got hurt. Yeah. This is the same conversation that was going on through the media at that time, that Hassan Whiteside could come back and play, but the reason why he's not is because he's holding out for that contract. Like they I did heard, the same thing to Kevin Durant. I heard uh, Shannon them mention that, but I, I thought they were mentioning it. As, they were. They were mentioning it as they didn't know. And, no, yeah, they were mentioning it like it didn't know. But then later on, Shannon was saying that, yo, he wanted to come back because of that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yo, yeah. like, like you, you really can't, like. But in, and the thing is, you and Draymond, him and Draymond. Been going at it? Ain't, yeah, for, been going at it. And they also ain't it friendly that you say to y'all because I would never put my friends in that position. Hey, if you hurt. Like I told you, if I pull my big toe, I'm coming out. I ain't playing. I ain't jumping. I ain't moving. Nah. Like, I want y'all to win, but nah. If I can't move it, and, and my thing is, because they were talking about it, like, yo, he hurt his calf, and then they didn't know whether. Now, like, it's the same type of injury that happened to Richard Sherman. And, and then see- nobody want to bring that up in the NFL. Like, a couple years ago when the Richard Sherman tore his Achilles, he had a calf injury. Yeah. And he was saying that he didn't want to play in that Thursday night game, but they had to play it. And he, he go out there and he tell his, his, his Achilles. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing that happened to him that he had a calf injury and he went out there and started playing. And, and what next, next thing happened? Tell his Achilles. And you know what? I don't believe, still to this day, I don't believe that that boy really had a calf. I think he had a torn Achilles, mm-hmm. and they lied to him. I believe they wanted him to play so they could have a chance to win a championship. And they thought, well, KD come back, we down three one, we can come back. Yeah. And I and, and and see, my whole thing is this: if Kevin Durant was already signed into a three to four year deal with the Warriors, do you think Steve Kerr would have let him play in that game? Because I don't believe they did. They would have. I think they tried to push him to play in their game because they wanted to get everything they could out of him because they know he finna leave in the offseason. Possibly, but now they were saying that he might he might stay. I think they were saying he might stay before he played in that game because they were losing. And now they definitely, like, yeah, it's the chance that he might stay. And then I think the dude, was it Mark Was Spears? he on the option? Who? KD, or was he... Uh, on a situation where he can opt in and opt out. Because I know Kyrie opted out. Yeah, opted I think in. it was because they said something about uh, Kyrie opting out and I seen that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I man. didn't know anything about that. Yeah, then he would probably opt in so he can get that money. 
why he injured. But the crazy thing is, they say KD might be out to twenty twenty one. Yeah, like dude, because that was that dude. Um, I think his name was Spears on ESPN. That was he was like, yo, KD could opt into his thing and stay with Golden State, especially he, he felt like, to. especially he felt like they lied to him and then they felt the reason why he told his Achilles. And I'm like, at the end, then I said, yeah, it's a it's a combination. One, him being stupid and not saying, hey, I'm take care of myself. Like, people, Skip Bates is the only one who talks shit about Kawhi sitting out. And Kawhi, and, and, and this is the thing with Kawhi, right? When the, the, the Spurs, when the Spurs told Kawhi that he could play, they're team doctors. He went and got a second and a third opinion, and he felt that those people tell him he couldn't. So he stayed out. They actually did an interview yeah, with see. Kawhi where he was basically told Katie, yeah, you should have stayed at home. Yeah. You should have stayed at home. And, like, and my thing is, like, you got so many, you got these players coming out in the NBA talking about they're going to change the name from owner to something else because we're not a slave and all this and that. Like, You're acting like one. Yeah. It's like, I'm not coming back. Like, yo, man. You you know what I think that affect these players so poorly that it affect them I think because they be fans of sports that they hear all of this we are family nonsense that's before it. they start yeah. playing and they we together we are family I, and mm. that's why my whole thing I always say and this is what with the Falcons right I'm a Falcon fan for the people out there I know you said that boy done lived a sad life yeah it's true but, but um, with the Falcons I always look at it and I say listen I'm always for the players getting all the money that they can. And the reason why I am is because the players make $15 million a year. The owners are billionaires. Mm-hmm. If the owners wanted to win that badly, they can go over the salary cap to get the players that they think can help them win a championship. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't do that. But then they ask the players to take a pay cut. A pay cut. And my whole thing is, after... Those dude careers start winning down and they can't play no more. Do they come to the table and give them guys their money back? Now, if you watch the Miami Heat, Miami Heat are uh, doing this right now with Haslam, right? Haslam don't play as much for the Heat, but Haslam took big, big, big haircuts to make sure that the LeBron, D-Wade, and Boston mm-hmm. worked. Then he took another one to make sure that Ray Allen came onto the team. But... When Wade, you remember when Wade had gave up that money and then yep. he signed the deal and LeBron didn't come back and Wade tried to get that twenty twenty two million dollars and Pat Riley, and Pat Riley said, Hell no. Mm-hmm. That's why he went to the Bulls for that season. Yeah. And that's why I said you gotta get the money. Get your money because when it's all done with, these owners of these team gonna treat you just like people in the Harson business do. They folk take raise these hard and, and take yep, take them out in that past and let off a few rounds. You see, uh, Jalen Ramsey come out and say, yeah, uh, they don't want to pick up, they don't want to resign me. They want me to play through my my rookie year. Okay, just know when they come back, you, I'm a, I'm gonna ask for so much money. You had to put me on layaway. And see, but and the thing with them, they got a bunch of players on that defense. Yeah. They got to resign. Cause they do in Gakway and coming to camp. Got Miles Jack. People saying Miles Jack was going to last, what, three, four seasons before his? And there was another um linebacker. I think a linebacker defensive end, he said that he was out. He wasn't gonna Kevin play. Smith? Yeah, he wasn't going to play football this year because he having problems off the field. Yeah. And so, but that was my thing with, with KD. It was like, yo, man, you, you should have stayed out. Like, But the thing is, you still got three teams that hit them. Like, yeah, we'll pay you the max to sit out. So, mm, like, that month, like, I had seen that, too. Yeah, that's what it was. I did hear Shannon say that, yo, people were going over there to see him and he called bass at home. And it like, nah, I'm not. Especially, I get my, my thing because I seen this happen with Richard Sherman. The thing real, KD wasn't complaining about, yo, man, I got a hurt cow. Uh, he wasn't complaining on anything. He didn't say, like, Richard Sherman, he wasn't complaining. He was just saying, yo, man, I need to rest. I don't want to play in that Thursday night game because I got a calf injury. And it's obviously bad enough that he, he's saying, yo, 
I could do something real bad, and then he go out there and pop. Same thing with Earl Thomas. Remember, Earl Thomas didn't want to play last year because he felt he was gonna get hurt without having a contract. And what happened? Crack yeah. hurt himself. And you would think that they they learn from that, like especially because the Isaiah thing was just recently, mm-hmm. and like people were talking about Isaiah like he was the star player. He could lead the team. Now he it, can't even it, get off the bench. Man, it go, man, that junk go all the way back to this family nonsense. Yeah, yeah go that was. You go back, go back to your boy, Javon Walker. When Brett Favre was out there putting that pressure on him to come back and play. And then mm-hmm. he came back, the boy broke his leg like the first game he came back. And then at the end of the year, Green Bay didn't want to get him that contract they said they were going to give him. So he went to the Bronco, and that boy's career was never the same. Like, people don't understand, like, when Javon Walker was playing for Green Bay, that boy was one of the top receivers in the game. Mm -hmm. After that leg injury, he was never the same again. But he allowed himself to be pumped by Brett Favre. Yeah, man, that's what it was you had, brother. I learned that shit in high school, and I had to realize that, like, yo, like, I think I knew that from, like, my ninth grade. Yeah, like you say, we are by family and all that shit, but most of these dudes on the football team, I don't even really like like that. Yeah. <laughs> or, in yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of things, like, yo, y'all seem, like, it's a different, like, it's that work thing where you, like, yo, you can go to work with somebody that you don't like. But at the end of the day, you ain't going to say, yo, that dude, my family. Hey, you ain't going to sit here and say, yo, <laughs> it's going to be fucked up to say, but I'm going to say that if a dude, if a killer come in here spraying, then yo, you going to jump in front of that dude and push him out of the way. No, you going to probably say, hey, man, that killer right there and take out running. And, you, if, and if you're a dirty dude, you're going to grab that dude and put him in front of you to show yourself. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I was thinking it. It was finna come out, but I went with the other thing. But that's what I was dirty. thinking. But then you're like, no, we're not family. And then once you look at that, the pay, like, yo, man, these dudes make a lot of money. Matter of fact, it was one season with the Saints that somehow they didn't have, like, $2 million in cap. It was that when they had all them offensive linemen and yeah, but then somehow they were still just able to sign. People, yeah, yeah they were like yo, where they get all kind of deals? Yeah, where they get all this they money? Had got, yep, when they got Jerry's bird, it was yeah. that season. And then like, how they get all this money? Where did this money come from? It just magically spring up when you need it, huh? But when a player said, "Hey man, pay me," y'all say, "We ain't got the funds, Chief." Keeping with this topic, Matt Burns put out on Instagram a post where he called out all of the analysts for saying that Kevin Durant shouldn't have played in their game. But first, they were calling out KD for not playing. This is a good point. This is a hell of a point because a lot of those folks in the media were saying that KD should have played. He should be out there and mm-hmm. all of this stuff. And then the moment that he got hurt, they started saying, no, KD <laughs> shouldn't have played. Like, my whole thing, I think I didn't say that. Well, we ain't no damn analysts like that. But Yes, we are. <laughs> we ain't big enough yet. Yes, we are. We analysts. Anyway, anyway, but. We do a better job than Michelle Beetle. I'm going to talk about her next. I mean, that ain't hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, my thing, like, cause I didn't. Because I said, like, I, I'm, like, don't go out there. I, I was saying, KD, you, you, you're crazy. Especially if that. Cause it, like you said, they didn't really know whether, but the team not to either. Maybe they did know, but it seemed like he didn't know whether it was a a, a calf on an Achilles. So if you don't really know, sit your ass out. Now my thing here is the the players. Like, do you say Draymond? Now, if it were all the players on that team that were telling him, yeah, then everybody on that team deserve to pay that man some money because. And, like, the thing we talked about, no, we didn't talk about it. We talked about it off here. About uh, Baker Mayfield with Duke Johnson. Look here. That ain't your money. That ain't your plan time. Your plan time is, is solidified. Your paycheck is solidified. That player, that's saying, no, my plan time ain't solidified. My paycheck ain't solidified. I need to find somewhere where everything is solidified. Know what that means. Stay in your fucking lane. The thing is, we get, like, Another thing, like you, if you ain't coming to help, but you coming to antagonize, stay in your lane. Cause we understand that T.O. was mad about Donovan McNabb not coming to his defense, cause he thought that was cool. Now, 
for y'all, y'all supposed to be cool with KD. And y'all just talk that man into hurting his Achilles and possibly ruin it. Now, I don't know if he's going to ruin his career. Could. Could. Possibly. He could. Nay. Penny Hardaway. Yeah, Penny, Penny better. Penny Hardaway. But the reason I. Brandon that, Roy. Yeah, but the reason that. Uh, I said that because of a good point that uh, Stephen A. had brought up that, yo, he could heal. Like, I understand other player who would give the Achilles injury and it uh, messed him up, but for somebody like KD, who is a dude who just rises up and shoot over you, he don't feel like he was a marksman. He don't feel like it could hurt them that, him that much. And that was my thing. Like, yo, KD can, KD can just shoot jump shots over you all day. And Yeah, but what you talking about? We talking about speed. We talking about everything, man. Yeah, everything taken into account. I can, yeah, I can, I can see that. 